Insiders say Ike Trump was extremely close to becoming UN ambassador. During alleged White House discussions this fall about shaking up the administration, President Donald Trump reportedly considered replacing Nikki Haley, the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, with his daughter Ryanka. At one point this fall, a scenario circulated in which Ms. Trump could replace Nikki R. Haley as ambassador to the United Nations if Ms. Haley replaced Secretary of State Rex W. Tyson, the New York Times claimed over the weekend. The Times admitted though that, a ites to Mr. Trump said they never heard that discussed internally, and the latest betting now has Ms. Haley staying put. What this means exactly remains a bit murky. Though Breitbart contributor Adam Shaw wondered how Ike Trump's resume or liberal political beliefs would, have, help head her follow Haley in enacting the Trump agenda. Fair point. Ike has demonstrated a disturbing proclivity for thinking like an irrational liberal. For instance, last spring she complained about the non-existent wage gap, claiming in a tweet that we must confront that motherhood is now a greater determinant of pay inequality than gender. She further linked to a piece that noted women's wages stop growing in line with their male's peers' wages when they have children. But there's nothing inherently wrong with that, as noted by Ben Shapiro of The Daily Wire. If the real gap appears with marriage and children, why would we penalize single women in the marketplace by equalizing all pay regardless of female choice? He wrote. And why would we penalize the men in marriages? who are helping to support their wives and children, by cutting their pay simply to satisfy the feelings of women who may end up with the same net household pay with or without regulation. It would be illogical, and Ivka would have already known that were she not so indoctrinated in liberal thinking. Trump's daughter likewise reportedly urged her father to maintain former President Barack Obama's economically disastrous Paris climate change agreement last spring. Thankfully. The president wound up pulling the U.S. out of the agreement despite her complaints. The irony is leftists continue to loathe Ike regardless of how much her views clearly align with their own, meaning her replacing Haley would have likely exasperated them. Just consider how they reacted when she admitted in an interview two months ago that she struggled with postpartum depression following the births of her children. Their stupidity and irrationality is almost amusing. All this said, neither they nor hardliner conservatives have anything to worry about, as it appears Haley, whose performance as the ambassador has been impeccable, will remain on the job for the time being. Please share this story on Facebook and Twitter and let us know what you think about a report that President Trump briefly considered installing his daughter Ianka as the U.S. ambassador to the U.N.